With this video, I want to get into talking about the peripheral nervous system, which consists of all the nerves that branch off of the brain and spinal cord. So as we're going to start talking about nerves, I want you to be familiar with the structure of a nerve. If you look at this picture over here, this is an artist's representation of a nerve, and you'll notice maybe that it has a structure that's really kind of similar to skeletal muscles. So we've got this nerve tissue that's enclosed in a membrane that's been partially cut away. And then you'll notice that what the nerve is made up of is several bundles. So there's one right here, one right here, a third one right here, and a fourth one that's been kind of pulled away. And these bundles contain within them these long fiber-like structures. So again, this is very similar to what we saw previously with skeletal muscle. And I wanna talk about some of the structures that you're actually seeing here making up this whole nerve. So the whole nerve is this whole bundle of these fibers that you're seeing, and the connective tissue that it's wrapped in is what's known as the epineurium. So this is kind of similar to the epimecium that we saw with skeletal muscles. Inside of the nerve, we've got four fascicles. So these fascicles, here's one right here, are wrapped in a connective tissue sheath, which is known as the paramecium. And what's included in these fascicles is a whole bunch, dozens of nerve fibers or axons that are organized together to make up the fascicle. If you look at this picture here, here's one nerve cell or neuron that has been pulled away from the other. Specifically, we're looking at the axon of that nerve cell. And you can see its myelination, and you can see also that it's wrapped in a connective tissue fiber, which is known as the endoneurium. And that fiber has been partially cut away up in here so that you can see the underlying axon that makes this up. So again, we've got a structure that's really similar to skeletal muscle with individual nerve cells, specifically the axons of those nerve cells being wrapped in an endoneurium. And we have Nerve cells bundled together into a fascicle, the fascicles wrapped in a perineurium, and then several fascicles or bundles of nerve cells make up the whole nerve. So really what a nerve is, is just a bundle of hundreds, maybe even in some cases thousands of individual axons or nerve fibers that have all been bundled up together. So I want to use this slide to just identify some terms for you. We've talked about what nerves are, that they're bundles of the axons from neurons. Nerves can be classified physiologically, so based on their function, into three different categories. So some of the nerves in the body are what are known as sensory nerves. And if you have a sensory nerve, what that means is every single axon within that nerve is carrying electrical signals towards the CNS, so towards the brain and spinal cord. Other nerves in the body are motor nerves, and what it means to be a motor nerve is that every single axon within that nerve is carrying electrical signals away from the brain and spinal cord and towards peripheral parts of the body. What we most commonly see, though, are what are known as mixed nerves. So mixed nerves have some neurons that are carrying electrical signals away from the brain and spinal cord towards peripheral parts of the body. And they have other nerves that are carrying electrical signals towards the brain and spinal cord from peripheral parts of the body. We talked previously about fascicles and the fact that these are bundles of the axons from neurons. When you have a mixed nerve, what that means is that some of the fascicles are going to be sensory Again, some of the fascicles contain neurons that are bundled together that are carrying electrical signals towards the brain and spinal cord. Other fascicles within that nerve, if it's a mixed nerve, consist of neurons that are motor, that are carrying electrical signals away from the brain and spinal cord and towards peripheral parts of the body. You would never see a situation in a mixed nerve where within a single fascicle, you've got sensory neurons and motor neurons present. If you have a mixed nerve, it's at least organized by fascicles. So some of the fascicles are motor and some of the fascicles contain neurons that are sensory. So we're gonna start 
looking at the peripheral nervous system from the perspective of the cranial nerves. I mentioned that the peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that branch off of the brain and spinal cord. So the cranial nerves specifically are nerves that are attached to the brain. Uh, there are 12 pairs of them, and then they run mostly through head and neck structures with the exception of one of these cranial nerves, which is known as the vagus nerve. Vagus means wanderer, and the reason for that is it actually runs down the neck and through many of the areas of the abdominal pelvic cavity and the thoracic cavity and innervates the organs that are located there. So if you look at this picture that we have of a brain, basically this is a brain, if you could imagine, taking it out of the skull, flipping it upside down, we're looking at the underside of the brain. Just to orient you a bit, here's the anterior or the front side. Back here, we've got the posterior side of the brain. And so we have these paired nerves. If you can imagine cutting the brain in half, you've got these nerves that are paired, so there's one on each side. Here's the first pair. This is the second pair. This is the third pair, the fourth pair down in here, the fifth pair, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. They're down in here. So these are paired nerves that branch directly off of the brain. Some of these nerves are purely sensory, some are motor, others are mixed. In the activity that you're going to do with this folder, you're going to have an opportunity to learn their names. Very often they're just represented by numbers, so you'll learn those as well, and you'll learn a little bit about the function of these cranial nerves.